Hi, I'm Pastor Ken Shorley at the Market Street Presbyterian Church in Lima, Ohio. And I'm going to try to summarize this little booklet. This little booklet has been a very wonderful source of help for any believer facing any situation in life. It's called Victory Over Circumstances by Ruth Paxson. So let me tell you a little bit about Ruth Paxson. The author of this booklet lived from 1889 to 1949. She was a missionary to China for 25 years. She traveled as a Bible conference speaker. She offered she authored devotional booklets, books, and Bible studies. This little booklet in front of you, Victory Over Circumstances, was printed in 1963 by the Good News Broadcasting Association, Incorporated. So, I'm going to take you into the text that she uses and talk a little bit about what she says in the booklet. I'm basically trying to summarize her thoughts and perhaps here and there I'll give you some of my thoughts. So the booklet starts out in the Gospel of John chapter 6 starting at verse number 15. When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and make him, take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain, himself alone. And when he was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. And when they rode about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea, drawing nigh unto the ship. And they were afraid. But he said unto them, It is I, do not be afraid. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. So this is the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 15 to 21. And what uh, Ruth Paxson will say in this little booklet is it's not only possible to have victory, but it is expected. So for the Christian believer, victory is not only possible, it is expected. So she tells us in the booklet about page 7, God knows about us and the circumstances that we face. So... Jesus knew all about the disciples out on the water, and it was no major issue for Jesus, but it was a little bit of an issue for the disciples in that they were on the boat, out in the water, on the sea. She begins to say that God allows circumstances for a particular purpose. Now, what are the circumstances that you're facing? And is it that God is allowing those for some particular purpose? The purpose may be above your thinking at the moment. The purpose may not seem clear to you at the moment. 
But what the author says is that God allows circumstances for a particular purpose. And then the author, Ruth Paxson, makes this statement on page 8. No child of God should ask why as a complaint or question regarding any of God's dealings with us. In that connection, the word why should never cross our lips. But notice she says as a complaint or question regarding God's dealings. And I think what she's trying to allude to is that every believer should realize that God is in charge no matter what. And that whatever is occurring in a believer's life, God is fully aware of it and God is using it. So, only ask why to know God's will. Only ask why to know God's will. And that's where she leaves us in this first part. Now we're going to go to another uh, section in the booklet, and that's about glorying in our handicaps. And to do that, we've got to go to 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians, chapter number 12, and starting at verse number 7. Second Corinthians 12, verse number 7. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So that's what uh, the author wants you to focus in on, is glorying in those infirmities. Now, what are those infirmities? Uh, they could be anything in life. They could be financial. They could be um, physical. They could be a job situation, whatever the infirmities are, the Bible tells you to glory in those infirmities. So I'm going to make this in a couple of different parts, and this is part one on this little booklet here entitled uh, Victory Over Circumstances by Ruth Paxson. Stay tuned for part number two. Thank you for watching.